This shoe makes perfect sense for me to do right now because we are one month away from a thousand consecutive days on YouTube and not a single day missed. Think about it, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year for a thousand consecutive days. And the reason why this shoe makes sense in those terms is because one of the first shoes I did for this channel was the Pharaoh Williams Human Race. And to be honest, when I started this channel, it was just right on the edge when the Pharaoh Williams Human Race line fell off a cliff. Uh, it was huge, massive line for like two years, absolutely innovative, never been seen before silhouettes of really incredible shoes. And then they sort of lost their way a little bit. And just as I was building this channel, that's uh, the very end of the hype that went with Pharaoh Williams and his NMD Human Race line. But thankfully for all of us out there, this year, 2021, marks a return to form after three years in the wilderness and we are going to call it the wilderness because of this right here here's an older version I think it's a it's almost a triple black if I remember rightly I can't remember the exact name of the shoe uh, but it's a gum sole on there black being the black boost and the black upper on there but with this gum sole but more important than the gum sole color is actually the structure which is a very trail full-on heavy tread and you can see it from the lateral side but also if we flip them upside down and you see those studs on there with this monster structure in the bottom part of the shoe and for me when the Farrah Williams NMD line human race line transferred away from standard outsoles and into these trail like outsoles i think that's when things started to go wrong and when they went back to the og sort of retro style of outsoles i think that's when things came back and today we're definitely looking at one of those og style instead of the trail outsoles uh, and basically you know it's been a pretty good year for the nmd human race line there have been some really nice silhouettes coming out nothing too extravagant nothing too extreme uh, and it's just a really sweet time to be getting back in to these guys and it's kind of like nice for me to be getting close to a thousand consecutive days and have that kind of bookend style where shoes that I was uh, getting interested in very first getting interested in when I started having this channel have come full circle almost three years later a thousand consecutive days is a big deal for me and uh, so that's why it's a great shoe to look at but it's also a great shoe to look at because it's a great silhouette doesn't matter coming out on August the 6th what a great day to choose to drop this shoe because it's celebrating 20 years of the nerd nobody Ever really dies, N-E-R-D, nobody ever really dies. And that's a backronym, if anybody out there is interested, not an acronym. Uh, but a back, an acronym is when you take the first letters of something and create you know, a shortened version of it. For example, United States of America, USA. But if you can actually do that and create a word, nobody ever really lies. Actually, I think it's no one. No one ever really dies creates the word nerd. That's a backronym. So you're working backwards to the word nerd. Word nerd. Um, and uh, so the, the, that's the name of the band that Farrell Williams formed with two, I think, childhood friends in 1999. But they released their first album two years later in 2001 on August the 6th. And these guys dropped to celebrate 20 years since that album on August the 6th. So I think it's really, really cool that they've gone for exactly Exactly the 20 year mark and that's a big thing in sneakers right now because a lot of the sneaker companies are really struggling to hit their drop dates because it's trouble with global trade routes trying to get uh, ships uh, shipments and uh, shipments of sneakers moved from one continent to another from the place that they're um, made and created in factories to the place that they're sold uh, so uh, watch this space as far as that August the 6th drop date goes will they actually hit the mark because it's very much 50 50 these days if that happens so uh, the hand with a Nike earlier, I'm trying to remember which one it was, but it literally said the date on the side and they missed that. It was uh, celebrating, I think, was it celebrating the swoosh? I think it might have been celebrating the first use of the swoosh. Um, and it was like uh, June the 14th or June the 18th or something like that. Um, and they missed the, the drop date and they, they released on like July July 1st or something like that. So, uh, so we're not sure where the drop dates are going. Don't know if they're going to hit that target. But August the 6th is the one for this. And it's an absolutely beautiful shoe. Uh, and the last thing I want to do just before we dive into the shoe, and we've got all the details on it because there's a lot, is just to tell you guys out there, yes, uh, two days ago I got my first uh, shab, my first uh, vaccine of the two. 
vaccines for coronavirus. So finally, Japan is catching up with the rest of the world and we're getting vaccinated in a, a good way. I mean, like tons, 80%, 85% of over 65s have been vaccinated here and they've really made a push uh, for those vulnerable groups or age groups to get vaccinated first. Uh, but now they're getting into my age group, which is slightly younger than the over 65s. Um, so happy to get my first shot and then I've got my next shot in mid-August. And then at the end of August, August the 31st, the last day of August will be the day that we hit a thousand consecutive days at the channel. So uh, lots to look forward to, lots of stuff going on, uh, but parking all of that and then getting to this shoe. That's why we're here today to look at this upcoming release of the Adidas NMD R1 Human Race Pharrell Williams Nerd. And I don't think it's the first Nerd Human Race we've had out there. Um, I can't remember what previous ones were, uh, but the whole thing about the Nerd, no one ever really dies. Uh, that's the band, like I said, that he made with his two pals in 1999, released their first album in 2001. And right down the front of this shoe, great place to start, uh, is looking at that upper on there. And there's actually quite a lot going on here. I know it looks very simple, but it's not. There's, a, I think, probably three things of real note to look at in the top half of the shoe. So looking at that upper, you see running down the middle of the upper, the lettering N-E-R-D, uh, and that's the, the sort of gimmick the style, the, the signature of the human race line is having some kind of writing down there. Usually it's an affirmation of some kind like um, humanity or equality or something like that. Uh, but in the case of this, it's pushing their band name, N-E-R-D. Um, and uh, so that stitching on there is a big deal. That's, that's what they always do or usually do with the human race line. Um, and then the other things that are important about it is that the N-E-R-D are separated by stars, if I remember correctly, um, which really does represent the, uh, the brand of their band. Uh, also, the whole upper is very much in a sale colorway and there's no contrast. For example, you could imagine on a sale upper having something like a deep maroon lettering in the stitching. So you've got that contrast between the two. But no, what they've gone for is very complementary colors in the stitching and the upper. And that's also evident when you go back from uh, this, the stitching and the lettering on there into the laces. Uh, and you see that the, the rest of the upper is very much staying in that sale color. Hits like the, uh, I don't know if we can call them eye stitch where the laces come uh, out of the midsole towards the heel section then the bricks that are standard on NMD sneakers uh, front and back on the lateral side and just on the is at the back on the medial side um, and those bricks are also in sale but the boost itself is in white so basically most of the whole uh, upper half of the shoe maybe 90% of it done in the sale and that's kind of interesting that there isn't that contrast there because that's a, a big deal when it comes to a lot of NMD human races is the contrast so uh, and then the final thing in that upper area so we've done the stitch we've done the colors uh, the materials as well because uh, it's, it's a question uh, with Adidas as to whether or not it's prime net uh, prime net being probably the highest quality upper that you can get at the Adidas line. Uh, I don't think this is prime net. I haven't read anywhere either way, but looking at the knit and looking at the stitching of it to me, and what you'll be able to see here on the green screen is exactly what that upper looks like. I'm not seeing prime net. I don't think it is. So uh, so that's kind of the detail and it goes on at the top half of the shoe, especially in terms of the sales stuff. But if we move back from that, we do get a little bit of color when you look at the top line, the lining, and also the heel branding on the back. So first things first, let's look into the shoe and you can see there's a very light pastel peach inside to the shoe to complement the sail on the outside. I think it works fantastically. And then looking down even further, you get to that insole, which with Farrell Williams is always about uh, massage, where to massage on the soles of your feet to achieve more health in the rest of your body. Massage here to have a healthy colon, massage there to improve your hip joints or whatever. Um, so the different massage points are displayed on the insole of the shoe and then you can know where it is that you can apply pressure to the sole of your foot to make the rest of your body healthy. So that's all done there on the insoles and wrapped around all of that on the lining. You see that peach uh, color effect on there. And then over to the back where uh, you normally have the three bars and uh, the human race branding and stuff like that. Instead, what they've gone for is the 20 to represent 20 years since the first Nerd album released. Uh, and it's got the two and the zero and inside the zero, there's a star as well there to represent the branding from the branding line. And it's done in light blue. Again, like we said, there's the peach on the inside, pastel peach and now pastel blues on the heel are pretty much the only colors on the top half of the shoe. And that blue in the heel very much wrap, 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 very much represents the color of the outsole. And we talked about that already about the 
outsole being the standard OG. So let's have a look at that and go back to this outsole. A beautiful colour to make an outsole of. You can see through the little windows and see that the boost within that in the midsole is in its sort of natural white. Um, but it is back to the standard NMD outsole instead of all that trail chunky stuff. It's back to your OG retro stuff. And I think it's a very good decision as far as this shoe is concerned. And I'm pretty sure that's a good way to finish this one up to wrap this video because that's all the details that I can think of on the shoe and it's an absolute belter. I love my human race NMDR ones. They don't fit me very well. NMDs for me, usually I have to go down a whole size or more. They really do fit big um, and I've, uh, I wear a 30.5 centimeters and I will buy like 29 centimeters for NMDs. They're so big on my feet. Um, and uh, But that doesn't seem to work with these guys. I find them very hard to fit, uh, to get my foot into. It's the, the collar is a little bit tight and inflexible, so it's hard to get your foot in. So the fit of the shoe might be big, but actually the entrance way is not. So it's a, a challenge to get your foot into NMDs. So uh, NMD human races, uh, that, that should be. Um, so, but a great looking shoe, a great looking story. Hopefully you appreciate that look today and hopefully you appreciate everything about this video and uh, and you're uh, you know into these guys and thinking seriously about on August the 6th, dipping it, dip it in your pocket and grabbing a pair. Very very fine shoes, a very very good decision if you do decide to go after them. Um, with that being said, it's time to wrap this one up. We've got another video in the bag on our quest to get to a thousand consecutive days on YouTube. Like I said, the end of August is now the target for that actual final date. So we're chipping away at it. Fingers crossed we'll get to there pretty soon. For now though, it's time to wrap this one up, finish up another video for the day and say the same thing that I say at the end of every single video, which is that I do this every single day. And that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.